Well, hello there, friends. Check out this turkey. I wish you could be here to smell it. Lemon, maple, amazing turkey. Friends, remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and stay tuned. We're doing it right now together. Okay, friends, let me show you how I'm gonna do my turkey. <laughs> gonna be delicious. Um, we're gonna make a butter where we're gonna put some uh, uh, maple syrup in there, a little bit of Tahitian vanilla, and a little bit of salt, and we're gonna butter that turkey. And uh, I wanna tell you real quick before I start buttering the turkey, because I am gonna put a thermometer, and last year I forgot to show you, and this year I don't wanna forget to show you, friends, um, where we actually put the thermometer. I wanna show you before, I put in the, um, the, the, the butter on it, because then you won't see it. I'm putting the thermometer in the joint, the joint. You see the joint, if you look at it, a lot of people put it in the, in, the, in the breast. Don't do that, because the breast is going to cook a lot faster, and, uh, and it's going to be overcooked if we, put, if we look for the, we don't want to do that. We want to put the, the thermometer in the joint, right there, bam. Right there. So we're going to go in there like that, and then we don't want to put it in the bone. So we go, this is where the joint is. See, it goes like this. It goes like this, and then it comes back here. So you see, it's right, boom, right there. That's the joint. So don't, don't be putting it over there. Don't be putting it, put it in the joint. And if you feel the bone, oh, take it off. This is the last part of the turkey that is going to cook, okay? All right, so it's easy, right? You just go in there, figure out where the joint is. Where is the joint of my leg? And you can kind of feel it. You can kind of feel it. Yeah, you want to, see, you want to go in the bone, but then you want to pull out. If you go all the way through, you know you miss the joint, okay? You want to get the joint, okay? And that's, that's the last part of the turkey that is going to cook. So be careful, all right? So let's go, friends. We are now going to make a little butter. So I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of maple syrup, and I got soft butter. By the way, quick little things about the turkey, friends. I... Uh, if you have, this is the 14 pound turkey, you need at least four days in the refrigerator to defrost it. So remember, at least four or five days for a 14, 15 pound turkey. Bigger the turkey, the longer it's going to take. A 20 pound turkey, 21 pound turkey could take a week to defrost. So remember that. You buy them frozen, nothing wrong with that. You just got to defrost it slowly in the fridge. Okay? You want to brine your turkey, you're brining. I don't really think it's necessary. I don't think it really does much for you. So you do whatever you want to do. But this is the simplest way. That's the way I've been making my turkeys for years. And I literally cook thousands of turkey, folks. In 50 years, I've been cooking. We cook so many, so many turkey. So, and this is the easiest way to do it. A little salt in your butter, a little bit of maple syrup. We're going to mix this up. And then we're going to put some gloves. Because uh, last year, I didn't do it with the glove in my hand. It was such a mess. It takes forever to clean them. <laughs> so we, we're going to make sure that we take the time to rub it and to get the butter. And the butter, I'm, I hope I can uh, make it into a nice space. If, if not, then I may have to wait a little bit, friends, because let me see if I can do it. You know, I'm afraid the butter is not uh, cold enough, friends. So it's not cold enough not warm enough you see it's not gonna rub on my turkey so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit I already started so I don't want to just uh, 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 I'm just gonna wait a few seconds for, folks for the butter to be soft or maybe we'll uh, we'll uh, put it in the oven for a minute okay just a little bit it's too it's not gonna be easy to let me see let me see let me see let me keep massaging it and see if I can get it I just gotta get a little warmer I should have checked that before I started the video, but I didn't. So it is what it is, friends. Let me see. Now, it's not going to rub on my turkey correctly, you see? It's a little too cold. So I'm going to wait a few minutes, all right? Okay, friends. Actually, I had to put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. 10 seconds. That's all it took. Okay, because otherwise I was trying to manipulate it with my hands, and that's, that, that was not going to work. So it's a good thing to do. You have to really, really have it. See, look, like a, like a, a pomade, if we can call it that way. Uh, you know, I'm just thinking I could probably do it in here. Uh, well, not ready. We're going to stuff it first, though. 
Let's see. So we're going to stuff it first. So let me just take it out. And then I got to tell you a few things that I did with it, okay? All right. Number one, I take the two wings and I uh, fold them this way. You see the way they are? I fold them this way. Then you take them and you force them. And you may have to force them and, and, and even crack it here. If you have to, don't worry about it. And if they don't stay together, just take a butchered wine. Those stay by some miracle. Okay? Normally, they don't stay. You take a butchered wine and you have somebody helping you. See right there? You go right, you go right, right in there. I'm not sure what the camera you can see, but you can put a butchered wine right here. You got the space to do it and tie them together and they stay. And what that does, that creates a rack. You see? Creates a rack. So look, it's standing on its own rack. All right, so now we're gonna cut the, uh, the extra skin here. Not too much, don't cut too much. Because if you cut too much, uh, it's, it's just gonna show an opening here. I mean, we don't need as much right there, but it looks better. It looks better, because you know, Thanksgiving is all about the looks. We gotta make sure it looks good, right? And if you look at the two legs, friends, they're usually tied up like this, right? They're usually tied up. Right there like that. So you don't want to break this because you want to use it again. And if they're not, let me clean up the extra fire. If they're not tied up like that on the turkey then you get, then you're just going to have to tie them. Okay. And I like to open them up so it's nicely uh, uh, open right there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put some salt in it. But I forgot to take a small bowl. I forget everything. I forgot to take a small bowl. We're going to put a little bit of salt in there, friends. And I don't want to use my hand because otherwise my whole container of, uh, of salt is going to be contaminated and a little bit of pepper on the inside. Because I don't put it on the outside. It makes no sense. The, it's not going to penetrate and it's going to mess up your whole skin. So on the inside this year, friends, we're going to put lemon. This is the whole idea. I'm going to put some lemon in there, a whole lemon in there and some onion. And some onion. I got onion right here that I sliced. So the inside of it, of it, you could add also garlic, whole garlic if you want it in here. You want to put a lot of onion in there, friends. I'm telling you, and it become nice and sweet because we don't stuff the turkey with stuffing like the stuffing you eat. We make it different. We cook it in a lasagna pan. I promise you so much better for so many reasons. But one of the main reasons is you don't need to cook your stuffing for three, four hours, five hours like you cook your turkey. You only need to cook it 45 minutes. So otherwise it's overcooked. It, it, it loses all of its texture, all this to, to have it inside the turkey. Don't need it. Don't need it inside. I also like to put once in a while some tangerine or oranges if you got them. Otherwise just stuff it with a lemon. You can put celery in it. You can put a bunch of different fruits in there, friend. This, okay? Put as much as you think it'll take. And it takes a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you. You see that? That was like two big onions. Actually, I actually only put one in there. But they're in there, right there, and stuff it, stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. It's very simple, friends, okay? And then we're going to tie our leg back in. And if they don't go in there, we're forcing. We're trying not to break this, this, thing, this thing right there. Because if we break it, then if we break it, then we have to take the butchered wine. I think I got enough in there. I like to keep one in there like that. I can put it at the end. All right. So now what we're going to do, friends, we're going to bottle it. All right. Put another lemon here in here like this. And you can also put some herbs in there like a, a, a sage in here. In the inside, they give you a nice flavor on the inside. And uh, I used all my sage this year for my gravy. Uh, all right. So now we're going to put the butter in there, friends. So remember, the butter, the, oh, the turkey has to be not too cold. If it's too cold, you're not going to be able to rub the butter on there. Okay? So we're going to take it, and hopefully it's going to go in nice and easy. Yes, 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 yes. It's going nice and easy. Don't be afraid now. Don't be afraid to put a lot of butter, friends. A lot of people say, oh, my God, that's too much butter. Don't do it. If you have some guests that are like skimish about using butter, um, don't show them. <laughs> you got to have that butter. Let me tell you, that's going to keep it. First of all, it's going to make it gorgeous, but it's going to keep it so nice and beautiful. I promise you, friends, you're going to love this. Don't be shy, you know. Put a lot of butter in there. And like I say, you can put salt and pepper if you want. I think it's ridiculous because all it does is it does nothing 
on the outside of the skin. The soil, they're not going to penetrate through the skin, I promise you. It's not going to penetrate. So if you want to put salt and pepper, you go right ahead. I usually don't waste my time with it. So now I'm going to use my gloves. I'm going to make sure that I have it nicely everywhere. See, it's still a little too cold. It's not going as well as I want on top of the turkey. You see, it's just because it's a little too cold. So let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's make sure we put it everywhere. Everywhere. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. This is not one of them quick video, folks. This is a video, and I know you're going to have this at home. You're going to have this experience because we're going to do it together at home. The best thing for you to do is when you do your turkey at home, do it with me. Make sure you have, we do it together. Then you'll have it perfect. All right. Now, remember, we have also have two other videos out there. You just have to pick which one you want. I don't do them that much different every year, you know. I mean, sometimes I stuff the turkey breast and thing. I don't brine them. Uh, next year, I'm going to smoke them. And also, I think I should be doing some uh, uh, fried turkey because there's some good fryer out there. I think next year, we're going to be doing some fried turkey. But this year, I'm still doing my uh, classic way of roasting them in the oven. All right? So... My friends, it's here. We're going to put the thermometer. I got the oven ready at 300 and a quarter. 300 and a quarter is the oven. 350 if your oven is a little weak. And, um, and the time is based on the size, obviously. A 14 pound could take it somewhere around three hours, three and a half hours. And uh, I'll have a chart that I put, I'm going to put in. A chart uh, that I'll put in underneath the video. And when you click... Click uh, show more underneath. You'll have the full recipe of everything we did this year and last year. And uh, it'll have also a time uh, chart based on the weight of your turkey. All right? You see, I'm taking the time to do it nice. Do the same, my friends. All right? What do you think? Do you think I forgot something? I'm sure some camera is looking at an angle that I can't see. And... Uh, and then we're going to say, oh, he forgot, because there's a lot of people out there now like me. They're a little anal. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think she's ready to go. What do you think, friends? All right, I'm not going to be too anal. I'm going to take those gloves. No, I'm going to put it on the rack first. I'll tell you about the rack when I take it out first. Let me just do that. Then we're going to put the thermometer. See, it's a good thing I thought about it. I yeah, fixed everything. I said I don't know to be too in all, but I am. I can't help it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me take those things out of there. They don't want to come off. There you go. Right there. There you go. Got to wash my hands. And I don't think I forgot anything. Let me wash my hand real quick. I don't think I forgot anything, but it's possible. <laughs> I'm sure if I did, I'll hear all about it in the comment. So now we're going to put the thermometer, friends. And uh, you set your thermometer. You set the temperature. You set the temperature to 155, friends. 155 is what you want to take it out at. So I say 155, let me know when it's there. And uh, I'm going to put this on the side of the oven. Boom. I'm going to take this, tamam, this uh, thing, this probe, <laughs> that's the name of it, this probe, and I'm going to go in my joint. Oh, see, I went through, so I missed the joint. Okay, I got it right now. So remember now, you, you feel the bone, up, oh, remove it. This is the last part that is going to cook, friends. Okay, so now, oh, oh, one more thing. For the first hour and a half, you got to put aluminum foil. And I say that every year, and I'm going to say it every year until, until I get comment. People said, oh, which side do we put it on? The shiny side or the dull side? Doesn't matter. Everybody thinks they know. I promise you, friends. Go to the Reynolds aluminum paper uh, website, and they'll tell you all about it. But in fact, you know what? We put an article, so you don't need to go there. By the CEO of the company then explained this. When they make the aluminum paper, when the, the side that is on the roller is shiny. That's it. There's no difference. So relax. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're going to put it on there. We're going to put it on the turkey. This rack is really cool. You see when I take it off, friends. 
We're gonna put it on there for the first hour and a half. Otherwise, that up and it gets too brown, right? And then uh, uh, an, hour, an hour and a half later, your turkey is all browned and it's not cooked. So you're gonna burn it. We don't wanna do that, all right? So we be nice. We take it out and then we'll take it off to an hour and a half. And, uh, and you'll see, and if it gets too brown again, we'll put it back in, all right? So now, I recommend you open up the door of your oven before you go in there. <laughs> and we're gonna go in there and we'll put it in. I'm glad I told you to open up the door. See, just in case I didn't tell you that, you would forget. Ay, 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 not everybody is like me. Friends, we're gonna put this on there. Double check to make sure it works. Right now it's telling me that my turkey is about 60 degrees, which is fine because I took it out a couple of hours, uh, um, a couple of hours uh, uh, ago, a couple of hours before I put it in, so it's not too cold, otherwise I could never rub the butter. And we'll see you in about three hours, okay? And we're gonna finish it up, we're gonna decorate it, we're gonna, I am even gonna show you how to carve it again. I do it every year and I'm gonna do it again because I love doing it. All right, I'll be back in a little while, friends. Okay, friends, it smells amazing in here. I'm telling you, the vanilla, the, oh, amazing. I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> I wish you were here. That, you, um, you would smell it. You, I remember when I did it at the restaurant, when I did it at the school, they were like, oh, it smells so good in here. Because they would come in and we had them in the oven already. So anyway, I take them out. I take it out. So remember now, friends, we're going to put the glaze on it. And uh, so... At this point, ooh, be careful. I tell you, you be careful, but I'm the one I gotta be careful, right? Holy moly, look at this, look at this. And we're not finished yet. We gotta give it a more of a mahogany color. We gotta give it more of a glaze. Look at this, okay? It's only the beginning. It smells amazing. Now this one, I really want it to be like mahogany everywhere. How is it everywhere? How we doing? How we doing amazing? And it smells, my friend, smells amazing. So now I'm gonna put a little, uh, quick little glaze with um, uh, a little bit of uh, maple syrup and, uh, and a little bit of vanilla. The vanilla, you know, I use Tahitian vanilla. It's, uh, it's a snobby thing, <laughs> but it's really <laughs> amazing. And a little bit of honey, and then that'll, that'll make a little sticky. Uh, but also it'll stay on it. But it'll make it a little sticky. And all we're gonna do is just, we're gonna mix this up really good. Really, really good. So now friends, you can put a little seasoning in there if you want to, see, you can put a little salt in there and you know what you could do. You know what you could do. You could put a little, uh, I'm excited because I love it, I love, this is my favorite holiday. A little bit of hot sauce. A little hot sauce, you, you, you know here. Yeah, Nobody will know. It's just gonna give it just a little je ne sais quoi. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna brush this. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you, but the turkey, when I took it out, what I said, uh, 145. So it's close, it's close. So that's why you don't wanna do this too much, too early, friends, because if you do it too early, you know what's gonna happen if you do it too early? It's just gonna brown it too much. So you know what you do with the aluminum, friends? The aluminum foil, friends. What you want to do with the aluminum foils, you want to kind of play by ear. You want to like uh, look at it, you know, like uh, the first hour and a half, uh, if it didn't get browned at all, which is really possible, the first hour, hour and a half, didn't get brown, take it off, but keep it. See, look, you keep it, because you may need it again if it gets too brown, okay? Because you're looking at the inside temperature. You want to take it out about 155, okay? You know, if, you, if you're uh, a nervous Nelly, like some people are, you leave it until 160, okay? And you'll see, it's gonna be juicy. It's gonna be juicy. <laughs> that looks like a picture Oh what? Look at this, look at this. That looks like a varnish. I give it a varnish. I feel like Michelangelo. <laughs> okay, it's going back in the oven. And now we're really gonna have to keep an eye on it and, uh, and I don't need a thermometer no more now. Because when it's mahogany, when it's beautiful, take it easy now. When it's beautiful, you gotta watch it because that moves. When it's a beautiful, and, and, and the way we like it, we're taking it out and we're gonna let it rest. So I'll be back in a few minutes. 
Okay, friends, we're ready to go. We're gonna take it out. It's the right temperature. And, 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 that's a beautiful turkey. That's a beautiful turkey. My friends, I hope I can give you a good angle for the camera. And I think right there. So we're gonna give her a little more makeup. <laughs> yeah, you see? See, look how beautiful that looks. Now it's gonna make it a little sticky. You know, friends, it's gonna make it a little sticky. But um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So now we gotta let it rest, friends. So a lot of people um, live a letter rest too long. I mean, a turkey like that, to be comfortable, friends, you gotta let it rest a good half hour, otherwise you're gonna burn yourself so much. Plus you're gonna continue cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, uh, move it out of here and I'm gonna put it on the, uh, on the cutting board, but I am going to let it rest. All right, friends? So welcome back. <laughs> when that turkey, that bird is on the cutting board, and then we can cut. I'm gonna show you how to carve it, all right? I show you every year the same. I don't change my technique, so if you've seen it last year, you can, you can go now, but stick around, because we're gonna do it, we have fun doing it, all right? I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, I gave it a good 20 minutes. Uh, you wanna cover it if you want? You can cover it if you want, but no worry, it's not gonna get cold enough. It's not gonna get that cold, you'll see in a minute. So the only thing I have to do now, friends, is I take the couple of fruits that I have right there in the front, because I need to put my fork to, uh, to, to transform it over there. The onion are amazing, I'm telling you. They taste like lemonade. <laughs> I'm telling you, 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 you are not gonna believe it. I don't wanna eat them because I don't wanna make any noise what I'm eating, but they're delicious, I'm telling you. All right, so. Look, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big fork. You need three tools. You need a slicer, a slicer knife, a boning knife, and a fork, okay? That's all you need, friends. And, uh, oh, I'm gonna take the, I gotta show you how to take the turkey. Sometimes I forget to do things because I get so excited. I wanna show you, friends, instead of, uh, 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 taking the whole turkey out of the rack, you want to take the rack out of the turkey. I'll show you, look. Take it right there. And now what you want to do is you want to tilt it as much as possible because you want to get rid of some of that juice. People think it's good. <laughs> you try it. Yeah, you try it. You see, you take some right in there from the dripping over there, you put it in a glass bowl and you leave it tomorrow. Bon appétit. <laughs> I don't like it, okay? But it's up to you, my friend. A lot of people said, oh my God, he's wasting all the juice. Okay. No wasting, nothing. If you see how we make the gravy, you'll understand. We don't need any of that to make our gravy. Right? Trust me, friends. Okay, look how cool that is, okay? You're gonna do, uh, I can do it here or I can do it over there. And I'll show you, either way, I'm gonna take the pin out of there What's better for me to do it this way or to do the other way? This way, perfect. We're gonna take the pin out, friends, look. Look at this. You see, the pin comes right out. You take it, you put it back over there. And now pay attention, here it is. Now I hope one of them wings don't get caught in it. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> True enough, it's happening now. One wing got caught, oh no, something got caught. Check this out. Now remember when you use this, this uh, rack over there, friends, you wanna spray with the non-stick spray first. You see, nothing really got stuck to it, except this was in the bottom. Nothing got stuck to it. You put it in water, don't scrape it. Just put it in boiling water just to clean. That's it, that's all you gotta do, okay? Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it out of the way, friends. Because we don't need to be, we don't need to be looking at it. All right? So I'm gonna get myself a, a, a moist rag to clean my hand. And um, now remember, it's very important to tilt it, to tilt it um, in, the, in the rusting pan so you get rid of most of the liquid, eh? okay? Because if you don't, you wanna put it in a cup? Fine, put it in a cup. <laughs> All right, first thing we're gonna do, friends, is we're gonna release the legs. 
and uh, and 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 you cut this what was holding it right there, right? And, and remember me, it was the original piece that came with the turkey. Uh, but if you have a twine, just get rid of the twine. And then what we're going to do, we're going to cut the legs off. So we're going to release them. Be careful when you do this, friends, because you don't want to cut the breast. So you got to be gentle, right? Eh? So you cut. You got to be gentle, right? Eh? All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to find that joint again that I was telling you about earlier. And I hope I'm doing the turkey the right way for the camera to see what I'm doing. Yes? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the... Um, the, the, the fork in the joint, and then I'm going to take the fork and I'm going to push it down. See, I'm going to push it down. So then I find my joints, and I cut on the outside of the joint. Okay, I'll show you. We're going to find the joint. And sometimes it's, it hides from me. You know how many turkey I've done in my days? And sometimes it wants to hide. But I don't let it hide. We're going to remove it. It's removed. It's just not coming to Papa. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Now, if you see a little red in here, don't think it's blood, folks. It's myoglobin. It's a protein. It's not blood. The blood has been gone a long time ago. So you're going to take this right there and put it upside down. Don't look at it. See, everybody don't look at it. You see? All right, so now we're going to cut the other one. Do exactly the same thing. All right? And like I said, you may have a little pop. Oh, mama mia. Don't do this. <laughs> you may have a little problem getting, uh, finding the joint. But remember, you take it and you push it. Push it down. All right? And then cut it. This is the only problem you may have a little bit. A little bit of problem. Finally, you see, it's right there. Let me see. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to see it, but I want to show you. This, this is it right there. Myoglobin. You don't like to look at it? There you go. Don't look at it no more. Don't let it bother you. <laughs> I hope I pronounced it right. Myoglobin. Okay? It's not blood. Everybody thinks it's blood. It's a protein. You see, by the way, one more thing important, friends. You see, my cutting board has got a channel. So the extra juice then comes out, then people make gravy out of it. I guess you can put it in a bucket and save it if you want. I don't need it. I make a beautiful gravy. But uh, um, it, it, it's caught in the channel. So what I do is I take a little pepper towel. That's probably my most used of pepper towel during the day. I don't use pepper towel much in the kitchen. It's a big waste. But for this, you don't have much of a choice, folks. You want a clean work area, clean everything. You need to get rid of this, okay? So, but if you let it rest long enough, you're going to use very little, you're going to lose very little of it, of this, uh, what you call juice. Now, this right there, folks, I'm going to take them away because this is not part of my show today. But this onion right there, they're amazing. I promise you, those onion right there, they're amazing. Let's clean this up. And forgive my grabbing the hand. I'm going to put everything in a roasting pan. Right now, I'm going to take those paper towel out of there. One more little cleaning. And then we're going to cut the breast. And I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? I try to do things fast so I don't waste too much of your time. But you're going to do that. At home, you do the same thing. As we do it together. Get your iPad in the kitchen and we do it together. All right, so remember, so far you got the, the leg out, so now we're going to remove the breast, friends. The only way to cut it nice, okay? So remember, there's the backbone right there, see? Right there, backbone. So now we're going to cut along the backbone. Now, this is going to get a little tricky if it's the first time you're doing it. What you're going to do is you're going to pull the bone out of there, so you want to cut. Make sure you cut the skin, friends, because if you don't cut the skin, you're going you're gonna to have a tough time doing it right so you cut the skin and then what you're going to do you're going to take the fork and you're going to pull the breast as you put your knife you're going to pull the breast of the bone you see take the breast pull it out and scrape the bone remember they got to pull 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 and remember the knife has to be on the bone friends the knife is on the bone Okay, knife on the bone, 
knife on the bone. So we're not taking, we're not leaving any meat on the bone. You see, my friends? Now, you got to have the bone right there. You go in here. You cut straight, straight, follow. And my friends, oh, don't take the skin. Skin, come back. We're going to fix the skin. Don't worry. If we lost the skin, we put it back. We put it back. We're going to put this right here, and we're going to put, we're going to put it away. You know what I need is another plate, guys. If I could have another plate right there, a big white plate, I can put this right there and put it away. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing, okay? I'm going to go in. I'm going to remove this, uh, this, uh, this beautiful. Look how beautiful that is, friends. Is that gorgeous? So here you go, right there. We're going to take this. We're going to put it right there. So I, give, I get room because I need to clean up this cutting board, friends. I can't... Uh, uh, cut so you make sure you get yourself a plate when you can do this okay all right so now we're going to do the same thing with the other breast now of course there's the wing still there's a lot to be going but right now we want to concentrate on the leg and the breast okay so we continue getting ready to do the same thing same exact thing and we're going to pull the same thing we're going to pull the breast with a fork, I'm going to pull the breast with a fork. I'm going to clean the bones. See the bones right there? And remember, the knife is against the carcass. Against the carcass. So we continue going down to the wing, cut the skin, which I didn't do so good on the other side, but beautiful. All right, so we got another beautiful ha. Oh, I'm going to take this out, I'm going to clean this up, and I'll be back in one second because I want to clean this up. I don't want to waste your time watching me clean, do some house cleaning. I'll be back in one second. Okay, friends. See? I'm telling you, you got to have a clean surface, friends. So what we do, we take the turkey. Yeah, we're not doing duck. <laughs> and uh, clean it up. You know, I, I don't like to do too much some of the... Uh, the fascia and stuff, you know. I mean, you can put whatever you, you can keep whatever you want on here. So now the secret, friends, to make this look nice is to slice it correctly. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna slice it, make sure your knife is super sharp. And I slice, and I push. I slice, and I push. See, slice a little bit of an angle. Don't do it straight, give it an angle, friends. Give a little bit of an angle, you see? Slice it. And, oh, if you lose the skin, you got to put it back. Because remember, the skin is going to come loose. It, it's going to come loose. There's no question about this, especially if you, you put your hand on there like, so like that. It's going to come loose. See? So look, like this, and take it out. Like this, and take it out. And look how beautiful that is. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful, friends. You see? Take it out. Boom. Hey, you, come back. And you start talking to the skin of the turkey, you know you're in trouble. Oh, I forgot one more tool. I always forget something. Spatula. So then you're nice. You take the whole thing, one shot, see? Whoop. And boom. Put it right there on your tray. And spread them out, spread them out. I say that and then I'm not spreading them out. I scooped them out too fast. Ah, mamma mia. Hold on one second. Everybody gonna see that? Oh, okay, we're not gonna see that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're gonna see everything. There you go. Okay, okay. Let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. Let's do the other one, friends. See? Now, the idea is, uh, like I said earlier, it's for you to do it the same time as I'm doing it. So get that iPad in the kitchen, friends. And let's all do it together. Just so make sure to remember you know, your knife. You know, if you, you know, I, I used to think electric knife were a joke, but one year I went to some friends of mine, cut the turkey, and some, I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking or drinking, <laughs> but I forgot my knife because they said, well, we got a knife. Don't worry. And I'm, I should have known better. 
I get there and their knife, I could have cut butter with that knife. They were so bad, right? She says, oh, I said, how am I going to cut the turkey? You look at the knife you got, right? And she said, oh, you know, I got an electric knife. I said, electric knife? God have mercy, somebody see me using an electric knife? But she says, you know, it cuts very nice. Anyway, to make a long story short, because <laughs> that's what I have tendency of doing, uh, is make them wrong. I use the electric knife, and guess what? It worked beautiful. So if you got an electric knife, that's the time to use it. All right, so now this time we're going to try not to join them together too much. And voila. All right, make sure your, uh, your turkey thing, your, uh, your skin is nice because that's all about the presentation, right? Now legs. By the way, remember it was a little leg, a red, red, it's not red anymore. It's not red anymore now. Now we're going to take it and we're going to go straight down, straight down, like boop, boom. You go straight down, you cut it. The dark meats, a lot of people just serve the dark meat just like that. I think it's important to clean it. Do however you want to do, friends. I'll do one real quick, okay? I put my knife on top of it, and look at this. This is beautiful. This right there, my friends, this is amazing. I promise you. This is beautiful. Do you see? So, look, I'm not going to waste too much time doing this because the video is going to be too long. But you take your time to do it, friends. Slice them. However big or, 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 or little you want, put them in the middle. Right there, you can certainly take more time to clean this up. Take more time to clean it up. Do the same thing right there. Take this uh, right there, go straight down. You can clean this also if you want to, but I'm not doing it because it's going to take too long. And then plus I use it in a presentation. I'll show you. I'll show you, my friends. I'm almost done. Careful, don't cut yourself. Take more time to clean up all that fascia and things, you know. Take a little more time. I'm going fast because I want to get going here, friends. Then, I, you know what I do? I take the skin and I put it right there in the middle. There's the skin, put it right there in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I take my leg and I put them right there. And sometimes they stay, sometimes they don't. And if they don't, I'll do this. You stay, stay. And then I take my, uh, what I do with them? I take the, uh, the few fruits that I had on the outside and put them in here, so, so they look pretty, you see? They're, they're pretty fruit, pretty fruits. Put them right there, and there, if you put more of them, put them in there, just like this, right? And then you know what I like to do? I like to take some cranberries and put them in here. A nice month of cranberry here, maybe a few here, maybe a few here. Maybe a few, boom, 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 like this. See, take your time, my friends. And this right there, and then you take some sage. Remember now, this is the flavor of the day, is sage. Put a little sage in there. Put a, a, a tree. <laughs> Put a tree of sage in there, friends, yeah? See, look. Now all of a sudden you got a platter that looks pretty cool. If the sage would cooperate, then you see, right there, my friends, take your time. Make it look pretty. Voila, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed doing it for you. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Friends, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thanks for watching the channel. We look forward to seeing you again in the next few days. Thanks.